Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, so that was a, a little hint. It's about time management. I'm no self-help guru. I'm just a poorly groomed, ugly old dude who died for a minute back on Christmas Eve 2014. And since that time, I've paid very close attention to life. The issue we have today is time management. What I say on this channel all comes from personal experience. I don't make this shit up. I don't care who you are. Nobody's got time for TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You can either live your life like that online or you can live a life. Now you've probably heard of the 80-20 rule. Not a fixed rule, I mean sometimes it's 90-10, 95-5. Well if you're talking about 95% to 5%, 5% online, 95% living a life. You start watching one video and then you disappear down the YouTube rabbit hole. Next thing you know you're watching gear videos. Next thing you know it's way past bedtime. That's time wasted. Time wasted in every possible way. Time wasted in whatever you're trying to do, accomplish in life. These are hours that we never get back, man. I mean, when you're on a deathbed, you are not going to sit there and think, well, I wish I spent more time on Facebook. It might be of interest to someone how I manage my time. And when I started, I started thinking about this. It was a long time ago and it was pre-2014. I just didn't manage my time properly. I thought life was forever. Even though I knew it wasn't, humans are weird. I decided it was time to straighten up and fly right. And my approach may seem radical to some, but we start with the phone. The amount of time you can spend on a phone, Facebook, Instagram, and all that crap. And it is crap. Twitter, don't get me started. I just don't have my phone connected to the internet. So all I can do with my phone is make phone calls and texts, which is awesome. I'm free. No emails, no Facebook, no YouTube. The only way I can get online is on my desktop, and that's plugged into the wall. I mean, I have to spend slightly more time than most people do because I've got a YouTube channel, which I'm trying to build unsuccessfully. Don't subscribe, it only encourages me. The only times I get to it, one hour in the morning, emails, check YouTube, check my Patreon. I deleted Facebook, don't bother with Twitter, and I quit Instagram. I'm on Flickr, I check Flickr because that's the only place I will share images. And that's it, in the evening, two hours doing the same thing but it's only two hours because I run a YouTube channel. I have to answer comments and speak to people and I want to speak to people. I mean, the whole thing is a community and that's what I love about it. But the rest of the time, I live totally present in the moment. I know what's gone around me. I'm situationally aware. I'm not scrolling my phone. See people walking through town, see people walking anywhere, scrolling their phone. The world is passing them by. They're not seeing it. They're seeing this synthetic world. Likes, shares, follows. It's bullshit, man. It's just total bullshit. I mean, if you are on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that, go through the people you follow, consider them, and cull the f out. Because there's a whole load of people on there who mean nothing to you. They are not serving any purpose for you. And unless you can serve a purpose for them, get rid of them. Because then you'll find your feed you can scroll through in no time at all. And all the people that matter to you, you've caught up with. Now, the only problem with my approach is emails. And sometimes people get a little bit fed up when you don't, reply immediately. People are just going to have to live with it because life is too important to be on there all the time waiting on that comment or waiting on that email. Deal with it in the morning, deal with it in the evening, and then live your life. So okay, I mean I understand some people need their phone connected online for business and you know to, to function. Oh, I completely understand that. That's great, you know, for business and functioning that's absolutely what it's for. But as for Facebook and scrolling and Instagram and everything else, well if you can't at the moment work up to the discipline to actually take care of that and ration your time there are really good apps that you can use you can program to do exactly what you want they'll just permit certain times of the day notifications no notifications so on and so forth and they're really good they'll help with limiting anything that steals valuable time time is an investment whatever we invest our time in for our growth you want to return on investment the investment of time in facebook cat videos people showing their perfect, perfect crap lives. Who gives a damn what people think about politics? Well, you might do, but you shouldn't. You're spending this time on it. There's no return on investment whatsoever. One day, you're gonna run out of time. You don't know when that is. That could be tomorrow, tonight, next week, next month, 15 years, 20, 30, 50 years time. You don't know, I don't know. I've already been there once, I've gotta tell you, it ain't a fucking game. It's an awesome life, guys, but it's a short one.